Well, welcome back to Tandem Radio Live. We're here every Saturday morning and excited to talk about the good news on business. And our guest today is Mary Pat Angelini, Assemblywoman from the state of New Jersey. And uh, we're talking about elections and business. And we have another special guest who just called in today, Senator Joe Carrillos from here in New Jersey, who's actually a, U, a New Jersey senator running for a U.S. senator. And we're excited about that because I think we'll be seeing Joe in Washington. And uh, Senator Carrillos, are you there? Glenn, I'm with you. Great to be with you, and, and and also with my very close friend and colleague, Assemblywoman Angelini. Mary Pat, good to be on with you. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks, Mary Pat. Now, I know you're on the run because you're uh, running a hot and heavy campaign, and we're excited for you, so we don't want to take up too much of your time. But, Senator, why don't you give our audience just a little bit of background about yourself? Well, sure. Well, good to, good to be with everybody. Uh, I've served with Mary Pat now in the legislature, well, I've, for, for many years, Mary Pat, I guess, in, in more recent years. But uh, I started in the General Assembly, went to the State Senate, chair of the Economic Development Committee when we had the majority uh, during the period of the, the years of the 90s. I think we're going to talk a little bit about small business in a, in a minute or two. Mm-hmm. Um, served as the Republican State Chairman and uh, have uh, been in the State Senate a long time. I'm very, very proud to... Uh, be uh, running for the United States Senate this year. Uh, we need to fix Washington, D.C. We want to fix the country. We've got to change Washington to do that. We've got to elect a new U.S. Senator here in New Jersey. And so we're, uh, we're starting that process, and we're going to have a big, uh, big, strong campaign over the next six, seven months. That's excellent. Well, I'm excited for your run, and uh, I know we need to see some more changes here in New Jersey and keep that momentum up, because I think New Jersey has gotten a new face to it uh, in the last couple of years. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I really do. You know, we've, we've proven in New Jersey that we can elect a, a conservative Republican leader, uh, namely Governor Christie. And together with with like-minded reformers in the legislature, we've begun to turn the state around. We've got a lot more work to do because, as Mary Pat knows, we've got these Democrat majorities in the Senate and the General Assembly, and we want to we want to fix things beyond what we've done. And they stop things. They 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 stand in our way. Mm. Uh, they're for the status quo. They're not for reforming. New Jersey, making it more competitive, making it the state that, that, that we grew up in. Um, but we have done a lot. We're balancing budgets. We're doing it without tax increases. We're dealing with our entitlement challenges. We're rolling out incentives to the private sector. And we're rebranding New Jersey. We're changing the culture. It's exactly what we've got to do in Washington. Uh, the guys down there are incapable of making hard decisions. They make decisions. They make really bad ones, like Obamacare. Uh, and other big spending programs that make for great press releases but don't create nearly enough jobs. And uh, this is a tough testing time for America. We've got 20 million, million people out of work or underemployed. Uh, we're spending too much, and we know the formula. We don't change our ways. We're going to be Spain or Greece or Portugal or Italy. Uh, that's not the American way. Mm-hmm. That's why this election, Glenn, uh, this November is so critical, not only that we have the opportunity to change presidents, uh, and I believe that we we um, we must, uh, but also for those of us who live in New Jersey, to elect a Republican senator for the first time in many many years, uh, we've got a guy who uh, is on the wrong side of all the issues. Mm. Whatever the decision is, whatever the vote is, uh, to my mind, um, he stands in the way of jobs, prosperity, progress, making America competitive, keeping it the country that we were born to or came to. Uh, and I'm going to be a very different kind of U.S. senator. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And, you know, again, our, our, our focus today is for business owners and, and you know, how um, they have an impact on politics and how politics, more importantly, has an impact on them. And I know in New Jersey, especially, you know, as uh, president of a business organization myself, um, you know, I, I hear from hundreds of business owners on a regular basis. And, and what I'm really impressed with is they felt and see the difference in New Jersey in, in just the last two years. So do you think we could see that kind of swift change when we get people like yourself into D.C.? Well, I think I think the private sector, small businesses and big businesses alike, need certainty. We need to know that there's a new uh, leadership team in Washington. I think just the mere election of Governor Christie gave people hope, some confidence. We followed it up with some concrete actions, and and the businesses that are succeeding out there are really doing it in spite of the actions of Trenton over the last decade, mm. uh, not because of it. And of course, there's, there's even more that we could be doing, uh, as I as I've already mentioned. I think the same for uh, the nation at large. I think the election of new Republican leaders uh, in, in, at the outset will inspire some confidence, will
will create uh, a sense of uh, certainty that um, there's going to be a different kind of business climate in which to conduct themselves. Uh, but, but we'll have to quickly follow up with, with real decisions, with real actions, dealing with the debt crisis, dealing with taxes, dealing with spending, dealing with Obamacare, uh, to keep that confidence going. We, we all know that there are companies not making employment decisions, deciding not to hire that next guy because they just don't know what the, what the future is going to look like. Uh, and that, that, that hurts all of us. It hurts, it hurts America in ways that we all know, we all feel. Well, let's ask this if I could. From a business owner's perspective, you know, obviously business owners should get out there and vote, and, and they're people of influence. They talk to people. They know people. How do they impact um, D.C.? How does a small business owner have an impact on what goes on in government? Well, listen, for, for, first of all, 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 um, all patriotic Americans need to get out there and vote. Um, and so that's the least we should demand of the citizens of, of, of our great country. Mm. So anybody who's 18 year old, uh, 18 years old and up, you know, have, have to go vote. You know, who, who we elect matters. Leadership matters. And we know, um, because we've seen it here in New Jersey, when we elect a different leadership uh, set, have a new governor, it makes a demonstrable difference. Um, and, you know, you do it year after year over time, uh, it's going to make a difference. So we've got to do that uh, for our national uh, elections this year. People have to vote. Now, you're, you've got some small business uh, people listening. Uh, you've got leaders in the community, uh, in the listening audience, uh, people that employ folks, uh, people that are raising families, that are leaders in their community. They seem to, it seems to me, have a disproportionate responsibility mm. to, to um, not only vote, but to uh, recruit people, uh, get other people registered, sign up to vote, uh, contribute to campaigns when and if they can, be active and engaged in, in, uh, in our, uh, our civic life. And so not everybody can do it, you know, especially business people. They're not full-time political folks. They're not like certain public labor union leaders, um, uh, trial lawyers, others that, 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 that are, are full-time political process folks. They're running businesses. They're raising families. I get that. But to the, to the degree they can, let's, let's provide some leadership um, so that we can help great candidates like Assemblywoman Angelini when she's up again next year. Uh, and hopefully those that want to rally to my side and aid me in my, in my efforts for me, for whoever our presidential nominee is, um, and uh, for candidates for, for local and county office as well. Well, I, I just want to encourage business owners, too, um, that you mentioned um, participate in uh, fundraising and so forth when you can, uh, where you can. I'll tell you, from a business owner's perspective, you know, I, for example, I was at your event at the PNC uh, recently where the governor spoke and, and you spoke, obviously, and it was a great turnout. But it's, it's, all, it's important for business owners to go to events like that, not just from the fundraising aspect, but from the aspect of being around like-minded people, from the aspect of uh, maybe even making new business contacts. I know I met a lot of people there that were just excellent quality people uh, that I would have met probably in other arenas and it was a great opportunity for networking from my standpoint uh, but also at the same time we could hear our beliefs being manifested in people like yourself and able to support you so I, I thank you for uh, for having those types well, of events. Glenn, I, I appreciate your being there for your help your support um, for that event it was a great event we had over 600 people and you're quite right uh, it was a, it was a great uh, party of sorts uh, <laughs> certainly a great networking um, uh, opportunity and the governor was fantastic as always and um it was successful you know in every way and certainly financially um so we're more of them where there's going to be more of a more of an opportunity for people to help you know, encourage folks to get involved you know this is our country uh we know it's at stake um nobody to blame but ourselves well, uh, do you, uh, by the way, Senator, can real quick because I know you're on the run and you're I'm between on, I'm, events. I'm on the run, and, and uh, as you know, and Mary Pat knows, uh, I'm in between uh, Republican county conventions this morning. We just uh, <laughs> appeared in Union County, and we've just pulled up now to uh, a school in uh, East Brunswick for the Middlesex County Convention, and. Um, uh, we're going to go in there and hopefully get the endorsement of, of Middlesex Republicans. So great! Can I, we, I, I appreciate everything. Can we have your website real quick before you go, Senator? Glenn, I, I would love to tell everybody that our website is joecorellos.com, joecorellos.com, and uh, we've got some good videos up there already. 
um, uh, some information. You can sign up for email alerts, and um, uh, I, I ask all your listeners to, to look at me, consider me, and uh, if you think we can do differently and better, to join me in this mission. For sure, and we'll have a link to that on our website as well. Senator, thank you for calling in. We appreciate it and hope to have you on the show uh, one day soon. Glenn and Assemblyman, thank you so very much. Thanks, Joe. All right. Well, you're listening to Tandem Radio Live. That was Senator Joe Carrillos uh, for New Jersey State Senator running for uh, U.S. Senator, and uh, hopefully we'll see him in a seat in D.C. And I know, Mary Pat, you mentioned to me that uh, Joe's wife played a special role in your career. Right. When, you know, I told the story of uh, a good friend of mine called and uh, encouraged me to toss my hat in the ring. That good friend was uh, Joe's wife, Susan, who's <laughs> a dear friend of mine. Well, that's great. Well, you're listening to Tandem Radio Live, and we're excited to be here with uh, talking about elections and business. And we have more for you in the next segment of Business Owners, how uh, politics can affect you, and more importantly, how um, we you can affect politics and affect our government as well. So stay tuned. We have more coming up for you in the next segment, and uh, we have some great sponsors for you to tune in, to listen to. And don't forget, at TandemRadio.com, TandemRadio.com, some powerful information there, great resources and links, and uh, also archive shows. So you can find out more about us here at Tandem Radio live by checking out tandemradio.com and if you have a question or comment info at tandemradio.com info at tandemradio.com is a place to send your emails or send your questions or check us out on facebook tandem radio is on facebook as well we'd love to hear from you wherever you are and we'll do our best to get back to you with some good insights check out these sponsors and we'll be back for another segment stay tuned